In today's video guys, we're going to be actually taking a look at how we can remove effects from multiple clips in Premiere Pro. Thank god, this, this nearly screwed me over. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you're new here, I produce weekly content based around video production, you know, topics we fuck around with, or video editing, videography, how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if any of that sounds interesting to you. Today I'm on Premiere and, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a bunch of freelance stuff. Uh, you know, that's kind of how I make my money. And uh, this on screen right now is a job that I was doing for a client of mine called Antonio, where we are essentially creating a sort of Facebook ad where we've got, you know, a, a, a kind of meme style video going on here, speakers in the middle, and then obviously subtitles down the bottom and, you know, a title up the top to grab people's attention. Now, obviously we've been creating this and he's got one final adjustment for me and it is to remove the drop shadow from every single one of the subtitles. Now, obviously you could see, you know, they're all individual individual subtitles for everything that they were saying, so this will take me ages to individually go through and remove all of the shadows, but thank God that you can do a very simple trick known as remove attributes, and uh, you know, it works for any clips, you know, any text, any audio layers, basically any layer that has effects added, and all you got to do is go ahead and highlight all of the clips, and uh, you know, you can do this by clicking and dragging, and then you just drag and highlight all the clips that are, you know, the clips you don't want to have the effect on. Right click and just go up to remove attributes. And you can click that and it's gonna show you the effect. So if there's audio attributes on there, you can select them and remove them, or it will automatically select the video attributes that we have right there, which is the drop shadow. And then we can simply press OK and it will take it off of every single one. Now, it might do this kind of weird, uh, you know, relocation glitch where it pushes everything down. Um, not to worry, this is pretty simple to solve. What we could do is actually just go here, right click and go to nest right here, press OK, and that turns it into a kind of a, you know, um, defined layer. And then we could just go up here to our position, sort of just bring that into it looks like it's bang in the middle of this kind of bottom subtitle section. And, uh, you know, then just like that, we have achieved the removing of the shadow of every single one of these um, these subtitles right here. And we have saved ourselves potentially at the very least 30 minutes, you know, from right, you know, it's a lot of different uh, subtitles. And that was for a six minute long video. And we've also got this one minute teaser over here, which, uh, you know, Antonio, my client also wanted the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, right click that, go up here to remove attributes go ahead and leave it ticked and uh, press OK and it's gonna remove all, uh, remove all the attributes. Then we can go here, simply go to nest and press OK. And uh, you know, then we can bring it up. Now make sure that the layer is um, the final version, you know, so for, for these subtitles, just in case I misspelled something, what I might do as a safety net is go ahead and just control uh, uh, D or Alt D and actually drag up. I mean, my bad, not Alt, just literally click Alt and just drag up, not D. Um, so you've duplicated it and then just go ahead and turn off that layer up there and then nest it just so you've got a backup just in case because if you do nest, the nest is a final, um, oh, uh, oops, my bad, I pressed subsequence, no. Uh, nest is kind of like a final thing. It merges everything together. It, it will not be editable at that point um, in terms of changing what the text is and stuff like that. But Boom, there you go. I'm pretty sure that glitch is only happening because it's text. Most of you might be using this, uh, you know, trick to get rid of effects on multiple clips. So I, I don't see it doing the uh, the relocation glitch right there, but that right there is a quick fix to your problem right there. By all means, tell me in the comments if you, if, if you were scared you were gonna have to go well out of your way and do a whole bunch of nonsense with clicking each layer individually, removing it, going to the next one, clicking it, removing it. Ah, damn, I, I can't even imagine having to do that. It would be such a tedious, you know, effort to do all that. And, you know, neither of us have to now that we found out this simple fix. Thank you guys for watching. Super simple video. Again, if you've made it to the end of the video, you must have found it somewhat interesting. So go check out other videos on my channel based around, you know, video editing tips, videography tips. And also I'm a full-time freelance video editor and videographer. So I'm doing a bunch of videos showing you how to make money making videos just like I am. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you in an upcoming project pretty soon. Hope, hopefully. I don't know. You, you might never watch my video again. Damn. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <coughs>